hello you are welcome here we want to solve this nice math problem from here square root of 108 plus square root of 81 divided by square root of 108 minus square root of 81 from here let's write this as square root of 12 times 9 we give us 108 then plus square root of 81 can be written as 9 times 9 then divided by square root of also 12 times 9 then minus square root of also 9 times 9 here. then in the next step we can separate this as square root of 12 times square root of 9 then plus also from here we have square root of 9 times square root of 9 then all divided by we also have square root of 12 times square root of 9 then minus also root 9 times root 9 here yeah? then we have root 9 common in the numerator same thing in the denominator so let's factor root 9 out we have root 9 then into bracket what is left here is root 12 then plus root 9 left here close bracket then divided by what is left also we have something common here which is root 9 we bring it out what is left there we have root 12 then minus root 9 and uh, in the same way we see that root 9 here can cancel out then we are left with root 12 plus root 9 up which we can write as root 4 times 3 4 times 3 is 12 then plus root 9 that's 3 then divide by also root 4 times 3 minus 3 then from here we can bring root 4 out and root 4 is 2 so we have 2 root 3 plus 3 divided by 2 root 3 then minus 3 now we have it in a simpler way here and then we can rationalize the denominator and multiply with the conjugate sort we have conjugate sort there is 2 root 3 plus 3 then divide by 2 root 3 plus 3 so this multiply each other also this multiply each other then instead of writing this twice now we can say this is 2 root 3 plus 3 square so far we have same thing multiply each other then divided by here we bring it together and these are conjugate sort so we have 2 root 3 minus 3 times we have 2 root 3 plus 3 so we can apply this identity from here when we have a plus b square the expansion here gives us a square plus 2ab plus b square and uh, we can apply that for the numerator also for the denominator we have in form of a minus b times a plus b this will give us a square minus b square which is perfect square then when we apply that for the numerator this will become 2 root 3 square then plus 2 multiply by 2 root 3 then multiply by 3 then plus 3 square which is divided by and uh, from here this will give us 2 root 3 square all square then minus 3 square and then numerator we now have this square affect these two numbers so 2 square is 4 then root 3 square if we square we cancel square root that will be 3 so 4 times 3 that will give us 12 on there then plus here we have 2 times 2 4 then 4 times 3 that gives us 12 root 3 then plus 3 squared that's 9 
then divided by also from here this give us 12 that is 2 square 4 root 3 square 3 4 times 3 that's 12 then minus we have 3 square that's 9 and uh, from here we can add this 12 and 9 we bring them together when we sum that that give us 21 then plus 12 root 3 divided by 12 minus 9 give us 3 and when we factor you know what is common out of 21 and 12 out that's 3 so that will be 3 into bracket 7 left here then plus we have 4 here left root 3 then over 3 so 3 we cancel 3 from here then we are left with 7 plus 4 root 3 which is our final answer here and uh, if we desire to also put it in the a decimal number we can say that root 3 is approximately equals to 1.7320 then when we put that here that will be 7 plus 4 multiplied by root 3 which is 1.7320 so 4 multiplied by this, then we have 7 plus 6.9282. Then when we add this up, it will now be 13.9282. So it means that we can also say we have the solution as approximate value equals to 13.9282. Or we can leave it as 7 plus 4 over 3. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more exciting videos. Also, share this video and give thumbs up. If you have a comment, put it in the comment section. See you next class then. Bye for now.